integers and absolute value. So first we want to identify and graph integers. So it's helpful to start with the number line. And using my handy dandy straight edge, remember we want to use our tools. We tend to our standards for mathematical practice, our SMPs. I'm going to go ahead and make a nice straight line. I usually like to start with zero in the center if I'm just making a line graph from scratch, number line. And I'm going to go a couple units in each direction. And notice that we have our set of negative numbers, negative integers. And we have our set of positive integers. And while 0 is also an integer, it's neither negative or positive. Okay. So we'd like to take some real-world examples of how we can use negative numbers in the real world. So for example, An average temperature of five degrees below normal. Well, there's a key word there that I like to highlight, and that's below. So therefore, I would use a negative symbol along with my five degrees. And that's how I could express this contextual situation with a negative number. The next part I would like to share with you is absolute value. So an absolute value which uses these symbols all right, they're straight vertical lines. They're not parentheses, so make sure you understand that difference. What these do is it's basically asking what is the distance of a number from zero? That's really what that, that's saying to do. So let's draw another number line. Again, we'll go ahead and put zero in the center, draw some negative integers and some positive integers. So notice from zero to five, if I count the number of units away from 0, 5 is, there's 5 total units. You have to also count the number of units away from negative 5. That's also 5 units. So in fact, this expresses the two examples I'd like to give. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5 units away from 0. And in this example, the absolute value of a positive 5, or 5 units away from 0. Notice how they are both positive. So a final example is that we can apply this understanding 
to a math problem. So here's an expression where we have negative 5 minus 2, the absolute value of 2. So absolute value of negative 5 minus the absolute value of 2. Well, the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. We make sure to copy down our negative sign, or minus sign, rather. And then the absolute value of 2 is 2. That minus sign right there is not what was in here, and it's not the opposite of this. It's the subtraction symbol. And so therefore our answer is 3.